Over the last four years, I've ridden my bicycle across the state of Colorado four times to support first responders. And I thought nearly 2,000 miles was a lot until I met Colorado Springs Fire Captain Doug Pape, who last Saturday biked to work for the last time as he retired from the Colorado Springs Fire Department after 24 years of service. And he rode his bike to work nearly every single day. I'm, how often do you cycle in this? Uh, never. This is the first time. This is inaugural use. Nice. Anytime you see a large group of people riding bicycles together, something's probably going on. Including your responsibilities and work pressures. Oh. Uh -huh. On Saturday, July 8th, Doug Pape took his last bicycle commute to work for the Colorado Springs Fire Department, and nearly 50 other cyclists turned out bright and early at 6 a.m. to join him. Thank you all for being here and being a part of something that's uh, been a huge piece of my life. I don't think this morning could have been any more perfect. That was a splendid way for me to honor those two parts of my life, you know, the cycling and all of my cycling friends that were there from long ago, some people I haven't seen for a long time, and then all the firefighters that don't necessarily ride. Some of them hadn't been on a bike at all, and uh, it, was just, it was just such a cool way to honor what we do and the time that I've had with my friends on this, in the cycling world to kind of mix the two of those. Intense dedication is something Doug has shown in both the fire service and biking to work. Even some of my cycling buddies are like, you You rode every every day, like weather dependent? I go, no, it was, it was every day, you know, that whatever, uh, <clears throat> whatever weather. 24 years ago, Doug had been on the job as a firefighter for three days when he decided biking to work would be a good idea for a few reasons. It's what I've used to deal with chronic stress of the job, you know, that ride in this morning, you know, it's beautiful, it's cool weather, thankfully, and uh, it just gets you, gets you ready for the day, and then a lot, of the, a lot of the times processing what you've done for 24 hours on that ride home before I get home and, and have to give out to my family. And Doug's also seen the landscape of cycling change dramatically in nearly a quarter century. When I very first started off, there was nobody else. I didn't see anybody on a bike. And then as time went on, the trails got better and I started seeing more and more people. And now it's just like I see people all the time. Doug's wife, Melinda, who'd suffered a serious cycling accident in 2019 and hasn't been able to be out as much as she'd like with Doug on the bike over the last few years, was even able to join in. She's been the one that supported me through being a firefighter all those years. And I've been telling these guys and other people that I've worked with for a long time, I was like, no offense, but I'm not gonna miss you guys. What I'm going to miss is the calls, and that's the part of my life that I'm that I'm closing the chapter on. So I think the the ability to serve the public is is the part that I'm going to miss, because what we do is important and it and it matters. The end of 24 years of being a firefighter and the conclusion of 4,500 rides, over 37,500 miles to seven fire stations on five different bicycles, from three different addresses in the Springs, and one backpack all came together on that final morning. There was all different people, you know, that have been a part of my life in all different ways. And that's one of the things that I've learned from the fire service and through cycling is that everyone has innate value. Not only my firefighters, but also the people that we serve. And it's not a better value. We're not worth more, but that all of us are in this together. And that's what it felt like this morning. We may never be able to measure the real impact that Doug has had in the people's lives here in our community over the last 24 years as a firefighter, but perhaps what might come close to putting it all into perspective are those massive miles on a bicycle through all seasons, through all those years, both certainly take commitment and dedication. So congratulations, Captain Pape, on your retirement. We wish you all the best, you and your wife, Mel. For News 5, I'm Ira Cronin.